What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy, Nero J, man. Back with another video, man. As y'all boys can see by the title, man. Ah, oh, man. Boy, I don't think I was ever going to tell y'all, bro, about this, bro. Like, on some real shit, bro. I don't think I was going to ever tell y'all about this, bro. Like, bro. This is like. This right here. The story I'm about to tell y'all, but this shit, like. But that shit different, but I probably didn't spoke on it before. I told y'all like, oh yeah, I got a little sister that died, you know what I'm saying? Type of shit. I probably told y'all that before, but I ain't never like I don't think I like got in detail, you know what I'm saying? Like really told y'all what really happened. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna try to make this video short. I'm not trying to make this video very long. You know what I'm saying? So basically, bro, I was twelve. I was twelve. My sister was 11. My sister died when she was 11, man. Shit crazy. Shit crazy, but I ain't never think I was going to lose my little sister at age 11. You know what I'm saying? At age 12. She was 11. But yeah, though, man. It's crazy. I'm going to try not to get emotional and all that shit. Because, like, it's, it's tough. This, like, shit tough. It's, this happened five years ago, bro. And the crazy thing is, y'all, bro. It happened five years ago. It happened on June 23rd, 2017, bro. And, bro, it's June 23rd, bro. As y'all can see, it's June 23rd. That's why I made the video on this date. I don't know when I'm going to post this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to post it when I, you know what I'm saying, feel comfortable. At first, I really wasn't comfortable with making it. And then I was like, I've been over it, but it's like, I don't know if I was comfortable like making it on YouTube. Making it as a video, I don't know. Damn. I just farted. What the fuck? Beto, I'm finna get straight to it. So basically, man, it was, you know what I'm saying? It was June 23rd, 2017. Basically, my mom, she was at work. Me and my sister was at the crib. We used to always get left home alone. You know what I'm saying? While my mom was at work, you know what I'm saying? Had to take care of my little sister. Had to be fit, brother. You know what I'm saying? And basically, um, that day, we were supposed to go to my auntie house. We were supposed to go to my auntie house. We were supposed to stay down at her crib and everything. You know what I'm saying? And basically, um, I had to cut the grass and stuff before we left. So that's what I did. I cut the grass and everything. I cut the grass and everything. Then I come back in the crib. My sister in there chilling. She chilling or whatever. And basically, um, she just started telling me like, oh, she in pain and stuff like that. She hurting. And me, I was, I was pissed. I'm like, bro, like, why are you like playing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why are you playing? Like, bro, you know we supposed to go to Auntie House today. Like, why are you playing? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you playing? And that don't make me mad. I'm like, bro, ain't no way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, tight jump. So basically, I'm thinking she playing. So she like, no, Jay, I'm for real. This and that, I'm for real. And, bro, basically from there, I was like, all right, I'm going to call my godma. So I called my godma. My godma stayed right around the corner. So I called my godma. I told her, I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Jella say she need to go to the hospital. That's my sister name, Jella. You know what I'm saying? I was like, Jella say she hurting and this and that. And Sarah said she need to go to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? So basically, my godma, she come. She come pick us up. Boom. We go to the hospital. We go to the hospital. From there, um, get to the hospital. We in the goddamn. We waiting. We waiting. Waiting for a good... Good little minute. Next thing you know, we get in the room with the doctor and everything. My sister laying on the bed. Me and my godma we in the room. You know what I'm saying? With her. We chilling. We chilling, whatever. So, next thing you know, I remember this doctor's last name. I don't remember her first name, but I remember her last name. This happened five years ago. Her last name was like Nugan or something like that. Or something like that. Bro, it was Nugan. She had to be like, I don't know what her race was, but all I know is like last name was Nugan or some shit like that. I remember that lady. That was the lady, you know what I'm saying, that basically killed my sister, bro. So, yeah. She, um, 
Yeah, it was that doctor right there. She had gave my sister this medicine called Tylenol Cody. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know codeine is a drug. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know. Y'all know. And basically, my sister was, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't eligible to take that. She was underage. She couldn't take that. But they prescribed that for her like a few years ago, probably when she was like younger. You know what I'm saying? And I, I guess it did something to her. I'm not sure what it did. I really don't know. But yeah. Basically, the doctor gave her like a little, a little bit of it. You know what I'm saying? Just gave her a little bit of that, man. And basically, um, my sister drunk it or whatever. You know? You know what I'm saying? Cause she wanted to get better. So from there, um, we just in the room, just in the room. My mom at work. My mom don't know what's going on. So my mom didn't know that the doctor had gave her the medicine already, and she ain't know nothing. So. My mom had got off of work. I remember um, we had called her. We had, I think my grandma had called her, told her what was going on or whatever, etc. So that's when this thing, you know, boom. My um, we go. I, I forgot how we got back home. I don't know if my mama came and picked us up from the hospital or my godma had took us home. I don't remember. But all I remember is we got home. We got home. This thing, you know. My mama, um, my mama, um, she wanted to go get something to eat. She wanted to go get something to eat. She like, just let go get some chicken. So we had left my sister there. We had left my sister there. You know what I'm saying? We had left my sister there. She, she was feeling better though. She was feeling better. She wasn't acting weird or anything. She was feeling better. So we left her there. We went to Publix, got some chicken. I think that's what it was, Publix. So boom. I think it was Publix. I forgot. We went somewhere and got some chicken. Then we came back. And this and that. So my mama didn't know the medicine they, they, that the doctor prescribed her. So basically, we had to wait on CVS to get the medicine ready and etc. So later that day, probably around like six, seven, um, we we go, we leave. Me, my mama, my sister, we all go to my auntie house. Not the auntie house I supposed to stay not at. My other auntie house. You know what I'm saying? We dropped it off over there. And basically, me and my mom, we went and ran some errands and stuff like that. And while I was out, we was going to get my sister medicine. You know what I'm saying? And they prescribed it for the Tylenol codeine, like I told y'all. That's the medicine that basically killed me. So, as they know, we go to CVS. We go to CVS and we get the medicine. My mom was like, oh, no, she not taking this. They gave her this medicine a few years ago. Uh-uh. Like, she not taking it. But my mom didn't already know that doctor already had gave it to her at the hospital. She already gave her a little dose. So, basically, boy, like she ain't getting that medicine. She ain't taking that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So, next thing you know, we we go back to my auntie house. Go back to my auntie house. And we um pick my sister up. I go inside the house. I go inside my auntie house. I tell my sister, come on. We about to go home. So, next thing you know, we, um, my sister, she come outside, and, wait, 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 I think she couldn't get up. I think, like, the medicine had her body, like, locked. Like, she couldn't get up or nothing. Like, she couldn't move. So, all I remember is, me and my mom had to pick her up and, like, put her in the car, in the passenger seat. So, boom, that's what we did, and, like, she can't walk or nothing. So my mama already knew. Cause my sister used to always like go to the doctors and stuff all the time. You know what I'm saying? So basically, um we had my mom told me when we get home, she'll like, Jay, call the amp, call the on ambulance. She'll like pack some clothes because she she already knew what was gonna go down. She already knew she probably had to go to Atlanta and etc. You know what I'm saying? She already knew what was gonna go down. So basically, we get home, we get home, we get home. That's what I do. I call the ambulance, I call the ambulance, I run in the crib, you know what I'm saying? I get my clothes, woo, woo, woo. my mama go in the crib, get her clothes, my sister in the car. And that's when I come back outside while my mama in the crib, I'm in the car. No, I, I'm standing outside the car and I'm talking to my sister. This is the, y'all, when I tell y'all this, bro, I'm trying not to get emotional because this the part that really heat deep, bro. Bro, this the last conversation I had with my sister, bro. She was in the car, bro. She was in the car. After I had told the ambulance, now all the address and everything, they pulled up. She was in the car. 
bro. I told my sister, like, the car was still on there. I told my sister, I was like, you need, you like, I had turned on the air and everything. I was like, you good? Like, you need something? You good? She said, yeah. This is the last conversation I had with her, bro. Last conversation, bro. Last conversation, y'all. I didn't know that was going to be the last conversation. Y'all, it's the last conversation I had with my sister, y'all. The last words. That shit hit. That shit tough, bro. After, like, deal with somebody I was, like, close with. Like, bro, talk to every day. Even though she made me mad and everything. We used to get mad at each other. We had arguments. Bro, bro. That, one, that was my nigga. Talk to her every day. We slept in the same room. Man, we used to goddamn watch Family Guy and shit together, man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, y'all. Alright, so let me finish the story, man. Let me finish the story, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and write it down. Alright, so after that, after that, um, like I said, after the last conversation I had, next thing you know, the ambulance get there. My mom called my granddad and everything. My granddad get there. So, boom, my granddad get there. The ambulance get there. Boom, they, um, they, I'm just walking around. I'm walking around, like, the yard and stuff. I'm like, bro, like, what's going on? And then my neighbor had asked, he was like, what's going on? I was like, um, I was like, something's going on with my sister or something like that. I think, I think she either asked me that that night or that, that night, that night of or the day after. So, basically, this thing, no, I had went. I had went up. Why didn't you put her on the stretcher? Why the ambulance taking out her out the own um, car? Cause she in my mama's car in the passenger seat. You know what I'm saying? Basically, that's where she died at. In my mama passenger seat in the car. So basically, they taking her out. And as they taking her out, me, I know how I did body feel because, bro, I had a dog one time and he had died, and I was supposed, to, I was trying to wake him up so I can like, you know what I'm saying? Let him go to the restroom. Everybody was cold. I ain't never felt nothing like that before. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I had touched her forehead like that. It was cold, y'all. I swear to God, on my life, bro, her head was cold. From there, y'all, I'm like, I'm like, bro, my sister might be dead, bro. I'm already knowing. Ain't no way. Everybody else don't know, but I know. I'm like, hey. So they take her out the stretcher. They put her on the stretcher. I meant, boom. Next thing you know, they put her in the back of the ambulance truck. I'm talking. They talk, they pump. They pump. I'm talking about the ambulance truck bouncing, 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 bouncing. Like the ambulance truck bouncing. My mama hanging on the back of the ambulance doors. Shaking the doors like crying, bro. I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life, bro. Like, I still remember that. I remember this like it happened yesterday. And like, and she just shaking the doors, pumping, pumping, pumping. I'm like, what the fuck? She ain't come back. But they didn't pronounce her dead. Like, then they wait till they got to like the hospital. So, basically, they go to the hospital. They stay pump, trying to pump her the whole way to the hospital. The whole way, whole way, trying to pump her. Me, I roll my granddad. So, next thing you know, me and my granddad at the crib at our house chilling while my, while my mom and them left with the ambulance. My mom left with the ambulance. My sister in the ambulance, the back of the ambulance truck. So, next thing you know, we get a call from my mom. She said, talk to the me and my granddad get to the hospital. Go inside. Open the room door. Everybody crying. Everybody in there crying. Everybody in there crying, y'all. I, I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. I couldn't 
couldn't do it, bro. Like, bro, I had to. I, I stayed in there for a little while when they pronounced it dead, and I had to leave out because I couldn't be in there with all them sad people, bro. I just couldn't. Because, like, me, I'm a strong ass nigga. He ain't really finna see me cry type shit. I barely cry. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't finna see me cry. So, I had to leave out the room. I couldn't let them see me down and like that. No, I don't like, I don't like people see me down. I just, that's just the type of nigga I am. So, I leave out the room, I go outside. Next thing you know, boom, I bump into my dad. I bump into my dad and my uncle. Soon as I see my dad, y'all, I swear to God, I started crying. Tears started coming down my eyes. Soon as I seen them, tears just came out my eyes. They come to me, Jay, what happened? 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 I'm tears coming to my eyes. I explained to my dad and uncle everything what happened. We outside at the um at the um hospital. I'm explaining in the parking lot. I'm explaining to them what happened. She was crazy, bro. Craziest night of my life, bro. Like it didn't feel real. It did not feel real, y'all. The next thing you know, we stayed at the hospital till like four or five o'clock in the morning. Next thing you know, I went to my auntie house. The auntie house I was supposed to stay the night at, that's who house I ended up staying the night at by the end of the night. You know what I'm saying? So I stayed the night at her house. I went in there, I went to sleep. Nobody didn't know. I ain't telling nobody that my sister died and nothing. Next thing you know, I guess they found out the next morning or whatever. Next thing you know, I woke up the next morning. I woke up the next morning. Bro, every Shit did not feel real, y'all. Shit did not feel real. It didn't feel real. Like, it feel like I was like, that shit was a whole movie. Like, it didn't feel real at all. Like, what happened? But my sister, it didn't feel real. That next one, it just felt like, uh, it felt so real when I woke up. I was like, damn. Like, that was a crazy ass dream. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, it was reality, nigga. This shit really happened. So I had got picked up from my own auntie house. I went home. This the part that killed me too, right here, y'all. Basically, I got a granddad. He stayed in Virginia. My dad's dad. I had to call my dad's dad and tell him that my sister died. That shit right there was the toughest. Bro, it was so hard for me to do. I might say, oh. Jay, that ain't hard to do. Nigga, that shit was hard to do. I swear to God. Bro. So, I go home. Me and my mom in the crib alone. Next thing you know, crying. My mom just bust out crying. She was crying. I had to, like, you know, I had to be the son. Go there, you know, cheer up and stuff. And stuff like that, you know? And basically, she like, call your granddad. Call your granddad. So, you know, from Virginia. To my granddad's name. So I called him. He like, hello? I'm like, Grandpa. He like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, Jayla. I just kept pausing. Jayla, I just kept pausing. I couldn't get it out. I could not get it out at all, y'all. I couldn't get the words out. I couldn't. I ain't never called him in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never called him on some tight. We ain't never had no conversation about death or nothing like that. Like, it just was weird calling him and telling him that his grandchild passed. It was so hard. I called him. I, I was I, I said, all right, man, I got to be a man. I got to do this shit. Boom. I called him. I said, all right. I said, Grandpa, Jella died. He said, man, what the? Santa said, I'm like, I'm quiet. I'm just quiet. I'm like, yeah. And basically from there, he was like, I'm going to be down there. Instead of, he flew down there. He got down there the next few days. And um, basically, bro, that's really what happened, bro. I had stayed with my auntie. I had started staying with my auntie. My other, my dad's sister. I had stayed with her for like a good year or so. Like when my sister had died. I had 
stay with her. I ain't. I wasn't living with my mom. I had to stay with my auntie. That's but um, yeah, man. I I'm glad I didn't get really emotional on this. Time. I didn't start crying and shit. Cause like I don't want y'all to like see me crying and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm a tough ass man. I hold my tears and shit. I don't wanna cry. But yo, yeah, I have a funeral though. Yeah, I have a funeral. Um, a lot of people expecting me to cry. Shit still fuck me to this day. But, you know, I just, you know. Yeah. Gotta keep going, but I can't let that stop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like now, all I'm trying yeah. to do is like, yeah. make my people yeah. proud, you know. Become, yeah. you know, do great things in life, you know. Like make it out with this YouTube jump. Like this what I love doing. Like if I don't make it out with this YouTube jump, y'all honestly don't know what I'm gonna do in life. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no idea. But yeah, that's really what happened, bro. That's how my sister died. The doctor basically killed her. Bro. Eleven years old. I was twelve years old. Die right in front of my face. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy that y'all, bro. I made this video. I thought about this video on the day. You know what I'm saying? On the day of. You know what I'm saying? This happened five years ago on this same exact day. I said, I gotta make this video today. Yeah. I don't know when I'm gonna post this, y'all. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, y'all my family, yeah. so I basically had to tell y'all yeah. these, bro. There's something y'all, you know, probably yeah. need to know. Yeah. It's probably something y'all need to know, so I'm just letting yeah. y'all know a little about my life a little bit. Yeah. Y'all boys uh, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all yeah. want any more story time? I'm making more story time videos, but if it's That's any right. story times y'all want me to make, bro, just let yeah. me know, man. We're on the grind of 3K subs. I'm trying to hit 3K subs by the end of this year. Like, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm on like an everyday grind. Like, everyday, bro, this YouTube shit be on my mind. Like, this YouTube shit be on my mind. Like, this YouTube shit be on my mind. Like, I just think my videos are way too I can be busy all the time. I be locked in. I swear to God. But man, this video is 23 minutes long. Man. Hopefully, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Watch this shit. This is crazy. Man. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, um. I'm out. Boys, have a good night, man. Keep grinding, chase y'all dreams, bro. Don't let no nigga stop you. Listen, on some real shit. Don't let no nigga stop you from chasing your dreams, bro. For real, not even your parents, bro. Respect your parents and shit, but don't let them stop you from chasing your dreams, bro. Okay, you gotta put yourself first. You gotta make, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be happy. You know what I'm saying? So, chase your dreams, man. I love y'all boys. I'm out this bit. You know what I'm saying? All I wanna see is. In the comments, all I want to see is LLJ, bro. Long Lil J, bro. LLJ, bro. That's all I want to see, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can tell you some other shit, but I want to see, I at least want to see one comment that say LLJ, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm out the bit. I love y'all boys. Y'all stay tuned to the next video. Gang.